leftovers. Work yesterday. Yeah, I finished yeah. up their leftovers. Exactly. Well, Watching you know, football. Well, with a body like mine, I finished up those leftovers real quick, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but, you know, you're a little bit slimmer than me, so it's taking you a while. I can still take them down, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, speaking of taking down uh, that weather, man, so what are these shoppers going to be looking out for today? Yeah, they're going to be watching for a little sunshine. Okay. Not too bad. Grab the sunglasses. You're walking out the door. Grab the jacket, too. It is a little cool. But the good news, no rain to damper the parade. Although, man, you can't see anything on our Lake Belton Syntex roof system camera right now. That Except that turkey, once again, just trying to run away. I thought he was going to take off, but I guess he decided to linger and taunt us there. You can see on the Lake Belton view there now, though, that things are quite clear and a little chilly. 41 now in Waco, 40 or 39 rather in Temple, 41 in Colleen. We don't have much of an effect on those feel-like temperatures because the wind is calm. That's why we're dealing with these cool temperatures. They could have been colder if we didn't have a little bit of high cloud cover work in. That will get out of here, and we'll see sunshine come in later on this afternoon. So 45 by 9 o'clock, 58 there by lunchtime, and later this afternoon, mid-60s. So beautiful shopping weather, just a tad cool out there. But this is exactly where we should be this time of year, normally around 66. We'll be calling for 64 pretty much area-wide. Could be a little cooler for some of our northern counties. And then tonight, back down to very similar temperatures, upper 30s and lower 40s. If you're trying to catch a plane outside of town here today and go back to where you were at before Thanksgiving, you may end up running into some issues if you have to go towards the Rocky Mountains. That's where they're dealing with a snowstorm today. You see all that snow that's expected to fall there over the front range of the Rocky Mountains from Cheyenne down through Denver into Santa Fe and Albuquerque. Meanwhile, the center of the country should be clear. Maybe some rain heading towards Miami, but that storm system bringing the snow will move up towards the Midwest, and eventually that sends rain chances down our way, though a lot of the moisture will be zapped by the time it reaches us, so only about a 30-40% chance of rain on the way here as that next system comes in on on Sunday. We'll bring cold air though. Look at the delays that may be happening towards the Midwest. So keep that in mind if you do have to travel. Check with your uh, airline before you head that way towards the airport. Now that system will lift up over towards the Northeast as well causing issues there, but we should be quiet. And as far as how much rain we'll see out of this, really not a lot. Close to a tenth, maybe a quarter of an inch. It's generally going to be this light rain. Better rain totals off to the east towards East Texas. So we kind of keep a quiet pattern going, save for that cold front that comes in on Sunday. And that's going to take us down into the mid 50s on Sunday. We'll be in the low 50s by Monday, maybe a light freeze into Tuesday morning, back into the mid 60s heading into Wednesday and Thursday. And then I'm tracking another system that could bring us some rain chances as temperatures try to heat up a little bit. I think the rain keeps us down some, but Sunday right now, looking particularly wet there later on next weekend. Weather's quiet here for the foreseeable future, though. That's a look at your forecast. We'll be right back with Good Morning Texas after this. Well, the most searched term in Texas on Thanksgiving is green bean casserole, but I don't know if they were talking about.